Hey guys, James Brown, Barton Springs Mill here. I uh, just wanted to answer a, a question that seems to be a recurring theme from the website uh, to see if I can give a little guidance. Probably our number one question. What do I need to use for sourdough? I want to make sourdough. Which flour do I choose? Uh, I'll make this short and sweet. Do not purchase all-purpose flour. It's great flour and it will technically make a, a pretty respectable sourdough loaf, uh, but I don't think it's the best thing for making sourdough. It's about 70% hard red winter wheat and about 30% Sonora soft white wheat, uh, which makes it have a broader application for things like cookies, cakes, pies. Uh, if you want to make a yeasted pan loaf, it works pretty great in that, especially when you're adding eggs and butter and milk and other uh, protein sources or uh, other inclusions. I think it works well for like a pan de mie, for example, um, and some of those type loaves in a Pullman pan or in a, in a standard loaf pan. Uh, for sourdough, I prefer 100% hard red winter wheat. Uh, that is my preference. Then the question becomes, do you want that to be a brown, full-bodied, um, uh, full-flavored um, sourdough loaf that's going to be uh, brown in color, slightly uh, more dense, chewy texture to the crumb? Uh, or do you want something that's more like what you see in the supermarket, which is a sort of white San Francisco sourdough um, that's made mostly from white flour. If you prefer the former, the, the brown, uh, fuller bodied iteration, then purchase whole wheat flour and you'll be extremely happy with that. If you're looking for a whiter loaf, very much like what you see in the supermarket uh, for a San Francisco sourdough, choose the double zero. Uh, the difference is the whole wheat version comes straight off the mill, goes into a bag, that's it. That's all there is to it. The double zero uh, goes through uh, our um, sifter uh, where we remove about 45% by weight um, of the whole wheat berry. So we've removed most of the, the bran covering uh, an aileron layer which is just below that uh, from, from the flour. And what you're left with is the endosperm, the white starchy part in the middle, and then the, the germ, the egg, which gets crushed and the germ oil gets expressed into the flour. So it still has a lot of flavor. It still has uh, some tiny bits of bran in it. Uh, as I said, a good portion has been removed, but there are still tiny bits in there. We're not a roller mill. Uh, where they're removing, you know, much closer to all 99% of the bran uh, in that process, which is a process of uh, milling and sifting and milling and sifting uh, in order to get rid of as much of that bran as possible. Uh, so I hope that's helpful. If you're looking for a browner, uh, more rustic loaf, go with the whole wheat. If you're looking for a whiter, lighter loaf, go with the double zero. Everybody stay safe out there, stay healthy, and we'll talk to you again soon.